This video will demonstrate how to conduct a two-way analysis of variance. For this example, the two factors will be patient group, which has two levels, and age group, which has three levels. The dependent variable will be physical well-being at discharge. To conduct a two-way ANOVA, select Analyze, General Linear Model, and then Univariate. We move well-being at discharge to the dependent variable box and then patient group and age group to the fixed factors box. It helps to plot the means to understand any significant effects. So we select the plots button. It's easier to comprehend the plot by putting the factor with more levels on the horizontal axis. So we move age group to the horizontal axis. The other factor, patient group, is moved to separate lines. Next we select add button and then continue. The first table shows the number of subjects for each level of each factor. The next table shows the statistical results for the two-way model. We see there is a main effect for patient group. P is less than 0.001. There is no main effect for age group. P equals 0.856. And there is a significant interaction between patient group and age group. P equals 0.037. The interaction takes precedence over any main effects. And so the focus shifts to it. To help us understand the interaction, we look at the profile plot. We can see why there is a significant interaction. For the age group 35 to 45, there really is not a difference in well-being between stroke and heart attack patients. While for the age groups 45 to 55 and 55 to 65, it appears that stroke patients have higher well-being compared to heart attack patients. When there is an interaction, this is typically followed up with simple effects analysis to isolate specifically where the differences occur. This completes the demonstration on how to conduct a two-way ANOVA.